Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I got asked about gelatos, and as you can see, I already started, but I didn't have my camera on. So we're going to start again. Okay, gelatos are from Faber-Castell, and they are um, like crayons. They look like chapstick almost that you just wind up, and they are, like, they're opaque, but they are not permanent. They uh, are water soluble, so when you put them down, you can move them around and around. I like to add a little bit of um, Mod Podge to it to keep them permanent, you know, if I'm doing them in my mixed media, but that's a whole other video. If you want to see me do that, let me know down below. But let me just show you a few fun things with gelatos, um, you know, real quick. Okay, so there's a million colors, and I only grabbed some of them. And let me show you, this is just a piece of printer paper. I want to show you on a couple different pieces of paper. So you're kind of aware this is not gessoed. You definitely can gesso if you want, um, but you don't have to. I'm going to use, maybe I'll use, you can see this cool looking pattern here. Maybe I'll use black. Let's see if black will, what black will do. So I'm just going to take some on my printer paper and you can use whatever paper you have. Now you can see I'm using it on my uh, non-stick mat and you can see it's a given texture because my non-stick mats are old and beat up and I just I mess them up so I'm just going to take my finger no water and what I'm going to do is kind of shake my whole table because that's how I roll okay and I'm just smudging this out now you can do this with your water soluble oil pastels. I should have grabbed mine. I did not. I'll do another quick video with that. You can do this with your, um, you know, whatever you have that you can lay down color that'll come up with water. Now I'm just going to take a stencil, use whatever stencil you want or have. I'm just using this because it's sitting here and I'm going to lay it on top. I'm going to take a napkin. Now you can use, this is a paper towel. You can use a baby wipe. You can use a wet rag, whatever. I'm just going to squirt it and get it damp. I'm going to hold down my stencil and I'm going in and I'm just going to wipe and I'm going to, it doesn't take long at all. And then I'm going to lift it up and look what you get. You get this really cool pattern. Look at that. And you can see I did the purple. The purple is a metallic one as you can see the shine. And then what I like to do because I'm weird and I hate wasting. Um, sometimes I will turn it over and I will kind of take what I have left that I took off and look what happens. So you're kind of getting a twofer. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, ridiculous, right? But why not? Look how fun and it gives you this great texture. So when you're doing mixed media, you definitely can uh, use this in it. I'm just going to go for the... I'm just going to go for the Mod Podge real quick. Let me find my Mod Podge. What did I do with my Mod Podge? <sighs> a mess. Excuse me. Excuse my arm. I'm just going to use my matte Mod Podge. This is what I do. Now, you will not be able to do the same uh, technique with it. But if you want to make it a little bit permanent on, um, if you're using it in your mixed media, I have been known to, and I'll have some videos of me doing it, I have been known to take my, I'll just do this real quick. Um, I just take my Faber-Castell gelato and I'm going to scribble it. Now you can get these on Amazon. They are called, um, they're from Faber-Castell. I, I, gosh, I can't remember what they're called. If you guys remember, write it down in the comments. They're much cheaper. They're in the kids section. I want to say paint sticks, but that's not what they are. Faber-Castell. Um, and you get a whole set and it's cheaper than buying the, uh, like four or five colors at your art store but it's only what you want. Um, but it is the same thing. Okay. They're just branded different. So I just take a little bit of my matte medium and that's what I'm going to use to kind of activate this. Now the, uh, what's it called? Mod Podge dries clear. So you'll still get color. So I'm just going to lay some more down cause I want it a little bit, you know, a little bit thicker, a little bit more. And you can add a little bit of water if you want, just to kind of make it go. And then I will do a piece right here. You can see. See how it comes out. Now, look, 
ideally you buy gelatos for the water soluble properties of it, but um, I like to get bang for my buck. I like to get, you know, more uses out of my products. So I'm always looking for ways to make that work. So as you can see, now it's a little wet, you can see, and it's only wet because I have the other side of my um, stencil that had a water soluble thing that I was using prior, which I probably should have wiped off, but still you get the, you get the gist of it and it'll dry. And then what happens is and I'll use this on my mixed media. I really should learn to wash my stencils off when I'm done using them because this is what happens. But see, for me, if I'm doing mixed media background and I get this kind of thing, I'm okay with it because it's my mixed media back, uh, mixed media background and it adds texture. So it all depends on what you like. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little paintbrush and dry it off a little bit and then add a little bit of water and see so you look and it is not moving, not moving. I don't know if I do it here, look. It's not moving. So it makes it, you can see, it makes it a little bit, um, a little bit lighter, you know, but you're definitely using it for your mixed media or, um, you know what I mean? You're getting like bang for your buck. Like I like to say, that's just my little thing. I have a thing with that. I like to buy things and get, you know, more than one use out of it, but you know, so these are the gelatos. They're great. Uh, if you want to see them used more in depth, I will uh, gladly do that for you. Let me know down below. I have uh, pan pastels. I have the water soluble oil pastels. I have regular oil pastels. I have watercolor. I have, um, what else do I have? Oh, what are they called? Ink tents. I mean, I have a lot of things. Ink tents are permanent though. They're like an ink in a pencil form. They're really cool. But yeah, so think about if you have your uh, gelatos or something to that, really playing with them in a way that, you know what I mean? Like that can go into your art journal on your ATC cards and your mixed media. I think I'm going to do an ATC card, uh, with gelatos and, um, you know, show you guys. So look for that coming up and yeah, it's a lot of fun and you can, you know, you can throw your mix, your Mod Podge over these. Let me just, you want to make sure your brush is dry though, when you're working with the Mod Podge. They also sell a spray, which is quite expensive that you can spray and it makes like your pan pastels and stuff permanent. Um, I can't remember the name right now, but you can also, you know, if you're really into that stuff, but I just have some of the Mod Podge here and all I'm going to do is go once. I don't want to go back and forth because that will smear what I did, but you see just once, not a big deal, not a big deal. That had no Mod Podge in it. That was straight up gelato. And I'll dry it real quick. I get so excited. And it's essentially going to do what we did there. And sometimes you might get a little smear or a smudge, but you know, these are a lot of fun to play with. I mean, look at the tech, look at, you know, think about the stencils that you have that you can really do cool things with. You don't want to hold your heat gun or your dryer too close. You can also leave it dry permanent. I mean, dry out without anything for like five minutes or so. Mod Podge dries very fast. Okay. You can see it's a little tacky there. Come on now. Oh, it's so humid here and rainy. Okay, so you can see. I have it on there. It's a little, you can see a little tackiness there, but I'm going to run my thing over it anyway. All right. I'm going to just dab it off. It's damp. You know, it's, it's definitely damp. I don't know. You can, you, did I, you can't really see, but it's, it, it is damp. Um, and then I will run it over and you can see it's not really running. See, so that works, uh, you know, as well, but you take a little bit of a chance of it smudging, but honestly, at the end of the day, it's beautiful. Look at that. Ugh. You can use your sparkle on top of it. You can use your pearl Mod Podge, your glitter, your, oh gosh, it's endless. So 
let me know what you guys think. Any comments or questions that you have for me, let them down below. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know if you want to, um, like I said, see the other water soluble uh, things that I have, or even the pan pastels and those kind of things, which are not water soluble, but uh, I play with them with my mixed media as well. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy my video. Share me around. I really appreciate it. And if you are not already and would like to be, please subscribe down below so you can see when I uh, upload new videos, which is about five, six times a week. Any requests, let them down below. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And we are working on progress, not perfection. And I love you guys so very much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.